Ah, the faint sounds of the footsteps, those of hippopotamuses, no survivors, maybe. Greetings everybody, my name is Crims and welcome back to some more Resident Evil Zero. Now, it's been like half a year since the last session, so I'm quite sorry about that, but uh, we're finally back and we're gonna continue and play this game and hopefully try to beat this before um, before the summer or end of the summer because uh, at the beginning of the summer I'm going to continue Super Mario Sunshine as well because that's also on hiatus so here we are with Rebecca and Billy we have two more doors, I mean two new doors we we're gonna explore since the last session which we unlocked with that clock puzzle so I'm gonna make this little girly no wait, I'm not gonna play sir. I want you to stay here I'll go alone Roger there we go so you stay here girl keep a lookout and I will go in here and cr- and uh, hug the leech man he should be in here lurking Alright, I got it! I'm just gonna run over here! You can't do shit against me, boy! You see? That's the way. I did try a quick test recording before starting this, and I tried to kill him with like seven shotgun shells, but it didn't work out, and he... Oh no. He ended up killing uh, Rebecca. So, the best idea is just to don't give any craps about him. Oh my god, you were fast! Holy shit! There's another one coming. That actually scared me. How fast he was. I'm not very used to it. Get over. Oh my god. <laughs> Just lie down. And with that, both of them are dead. Efficient, if I do say so myself. Now, shit, I did not um, remember to put on a timer. So I guess we're just gonna go with the classical thing that... I'm just gonna do a session and just cut it up in parts. I don't really like doing that so much anymore, but... Uh, that's all we can go with right now. <laughs> Unless I can just put up a timer, but never mind. We will go with this handgun mission. Yes, please. That's what we need. So this uh, session is going to be quite chill. It's not going to be all... Oh, crazy yelling and all that because right now I'm uh, I'm I'm feeling good when it comes to you know physically I don't have any illness or something I'm totally fine and all that but uh, mentally I'm not uh, doing very well right now and um, it's quite nice to do these commentary sessions so I can just let out feelings just talk random shit and play a video game that's uh, also it so, yeah, that's how it is. So, I hope you're all having a really... What the f Is there nothing here? He's looking at something, right? No? So, there's no point. There is no point to this shit. And you can't see if it's 100% right. Uh, no. What's actually cool about this is uh, the game is in 60... Um, FPS or frames per second in the map as you can see maybe you can't see that because I'm going to de interlace it and go make it go down to 30 FPS so that's a little weird and also the map screen is the only screen in the game which is you know full it's the whole screen but as soon as I go back here it's cropped a little bit on the top uh, and bottom and the ice cream truck is outside my window uh, and also in the menu it's 60 fps. This right here is also 60 fps, but uh, Yeah, as I said, you will not be able to see it, but just so you know Man, Crimson was so unnecessary. You really suck at this. Where it is this thing? Is there nothing to do in here? Uh, okay, it's a microfilm projector. If you had some microfilm, you could view its contents on the screen. Well, I would gladly like to do that, but I don't have any. Oh, wait, do I? Nope, okay. Yes, 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 stop it. All right, so there is nothing for us to do in here as of now, so that was quite pointless. Over here, we have a map of Talus. It's a large map of the world. 
there doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Nope. But I can see Sweden up there. I can actually kind of see where I live. But it's, yeah, near Gothenburg. And, um, let's see. Also, for this session, not only is the commentary going to be a little bit chill, um, also the way... Oh my goodness, stop it! No slappy shit today! I'm also going to try a new way of mixing it, because uh, recently, when I do it with Cubase, I tend to overcompress it, make everything the exact same level all the time, and, you know, it doesn't sound very good. But for this session, I am going to try to make it more like a stream, you know? Not so much compression, maybe like a 2 to 3 ratio on the compressor, from the compressor. And, um, and not to keep everything at the highest maximum volume all the time. So let's see. Rebecca, do you have any ammunition for me? It would be very nice. Let's see. Yes, she does. So, partner. Oh wait, I want to uh, exchange these. Take them all! Keep her there. We're still on caution, but I still want to <laughs> go with just Billy when they're doing this. It feels more like the classic Resident Evil going with one character. Um, and after playing Resident Evil Remake, both the A original and the HD, I... Uh, oh, fuck! This game is so nice, I mean... They could have just used this engine in some way, because this engine is a little bit better than the one in Remake. Oh my god, this is not going to be enough. Oh my goodness, get the fuck out! There are four of them?! Okay, I know what to do. Clearly I do. Now luckily, Wesker will be there to reset the room. But yeah, this game is, has a little bit better engine. I think the fire there is better, just on top of that, just something. And um, we have this changing camera, right this, like this. Um, the Re Resident Evil Remake did not have that. And also leaving items on the floor and um, the way it's 60 frames per second in some places. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit better. So why couldn't they just use the, this engine but for that game? Maybe it would be impossible, I don't know, but... And hopefully they will make a remake, I mean a remaster of this game, and don't fuck it up. But they probably will. And they probably will do an HD remake of this game. Not that it needs, I talked about that before, but uh, yeah. Did I reset positions? Uh, kinda. Hello, man! Yep, that's what you need. And this is what I need. <laughs> I just love it. Maybe we shouldn't use it like this. We should save it for more dangerous things later on. And this is hard mode after all, and it's very difficult. But never mind. We have a verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. To THE heaven, not just to heaven. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you be there, boy. You will just walk around like a stupid shit. Oh, it looks so creepy. Like, he's standing perfectly still, but there is still um, shadow moving in the background. This fire looks like it was lit only a short while ago. Books lie scattered on the floor. Fucking zombies! Okay, we should have gone in here first, but yeah, we didn't take any damage from the leech man. So no worries. So let's go back to that room, I guess. There was really no point in... Uh, in using the grenade launcher on two of them. But never mind. So let's uh, go back to um, the projector room and um, see what's on the microphone. And once again, I am quite sorry that I took so long of a break of this game, like a half a year ago was the last session, and this is the third session, I mean, we're moving very, very slowly with this game. And the reason why is um, the Resident Evil 3 playthrough, and um, I'm not gonna explain that whole shit again, so if you want to know what I'm talking about... 
punch this guy in the face! Oh no. Stop it, please. Monster hugging me. Wait, am I on red caution? No, orange caution, I mean. Yep, we are. Fuck. But yeah, just watch my Resident Evil 3 series if you want to know why I took a break from this game. So, finally, let's look at what's on this pornographic microfilm. What can it be? Let's first examine it. Insert this film into a projector to view its contents. Right, right. Use the projector. Yes, please. Oh my good. Not this fucking shit. A bizarre pattern. Okay, do I need to write this down or can I have it like in my file collection? Because that would be very nice. Uh, can't no, don't view it, Billy. <laughs> I just love his name, Billy. For such a big hunk of a man killing people and being the tit grabber, his name is Billy. <laughs> uh, so let's see. No, that's the map. Never mind. So let's see. File. Verse of poetry. Regulation. Nope. We got all the files there, so that's nice. We are missing some. And this is also 60 FPS. That's so cool. I like that. Maybe I should just make uh, the, ser the um, session in 60 FPS. We shall see. Well, you will see it right now. I don't know. Um, so, is it on the screen? Okay, it is. Uh, the bizarre pattern. Alright then, I'm gonna go ahead now, I would like to do use the snipping tool on um, Windows to grab an image of this, but uh, as of now, I don't. I'm playing um, full screen uh, through the HDMI output. So I'm gonna take my phone here. What? I can't take a photo? No, I can't. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. How are we supposed to do this? Well, it's not so hard, it's uh, from, yeah, it's just one, I mean, zero to nine, and then A to F. And it just goes horizontally from left to right. Okay, I guess I can just keep that in mind. It's not that difficult. <laughs> he said. 